Certainly, the public static void main string args method is a crucial part of any Java program. It serves as the entry point for the program's execution when you run the Java application. Let's break down each component of this method signature in depth. Public. This is an access modifier that specifies the visibility of the method. In this case, public indicates that the main method can be accessed from outside the class where it is defined. Static. This is a keyword that indicates that the method belongs to the class itself, rather than to instances, objects, of the class. Being static means that you don't need to create an instance of the class to call the main method, it can be called directly using the class name. Void. This is the return type of the main method. Void indicates that the method does not return any value. In other words, the main method doesn't produce a result that needs to be captured or used elsewhere in the program. Main. This is the name of the method. It's the identifier that you use to call the method. String, args, these are the method parameters. In Java, the main method takes a single parameter, which is an array of strings called args. This parameter is used to pass command line arguments to the program when it's executed. When you run a Java program, the Java Virtual Machine, JVM, looks for the public static void main string, args method in the specified class. It then executes the code inside this method. Here's a typical structure of a Java program with the main method. Public class main class, public static void main string, args, slash slash code to be executed when the program is run. Here's a brief overview of what you might typically do within the main method. Initializing variables. You might declare and initialize variables that your program will use. Reading command line arguments. The args parameter allows you to pass arguments to your program when you run it from the command line. These arguments are stored in the args array, and you can access them to customize your program's behavior. Performing operations. You'll write the actual logic of your program within the main method. This can include calculations. Data processing, input slash output operations, and more. Printing output. You can use the system.out.print method to display output to the console, allowing you to see the results of your program's operations. Interacting with other classes. Your main method might create instances of other classes and call their methods to organize your code into modular components. Remember that while it's common to write smaller programs entirely within the main method, larger and more complex applications are typically organized into multiple classes and methods to maintain readability and modularity. The main method remains the starting point for execution, but it's responsible for setting up the initial state of your program and coordinating its overall flow.